Skywarp72 with Cruisers Gaming and today we're going to be talking about not only how to deal with rammers and griefers in Forza Motorsport, but how to deal with them properly. Recently an old friend of mine from Forza Motorsport 4 received a 7 day ban for retaliating against one instead of using the proper channels to report them. Don't let this happen to you and I'm going to show you how. But, before we do that, nothing helps me out more and nothing is more appreciated by us at Cruisers Gaming if you click on that subscribe button to show your support for the channel and click on that notification bell icon to stay up to date on all the Horizon 4 stuff we're going to be doing. I thank you, my friends. To know what to do about griefers, you first have to know what not to do. Three main things are a huge no in when dealing with them. First, is do not retaliate against them in the lobby. As satisfying as it is to give them a taste of their own medicine, all they have to do is use the proper channels I'm about to show you for them to ban and troll you. Second, is do not message them nor respond to any of their messages. They often report nasty messages to Xbox Live and it can result in a temporary communication span for you, not them. Lastly, there are YouTube channels based on trolling games of all manners, and sadly the Forza franchise is no exception. Do not, under any circumstances, watch their videos, even to leave a thumbs down or to leave a nasty comment in the vids. Even the negative responses boost their channels in the YouTube algorithm, giving them more exposure to would-be subscribers than the channels like us here at Cruisers Motorsports. On top of that, it just reflects badly on us to the rest of the gaming community if that's all they see. Now that you know what not to do, let's take a look at the things that you can do to help eliminate this threat. We all have to do our part here as this really has to be a community effort. First things first, as Forza 7 has given us some in-lobby reporting methods. Click on the griefer's name while in lobby and click on Report Dirty Racer. This actually is a system that kind of works as when you do so, it will actually try to put you in a different lobby the next time you join multiplayer. Report them to Xbox Live for unsportsmanlike conduct. While this doesn't do much, it will however lower their reputation on Xbox and be a good indicator to other players who might end up being griefed by them. The next step is to vote kick them. This often isn't used in FM7 as the lag in the lobbies prevent you from doing both the aforementioned options and pick your car for the next race. I would suggest maybe spectating the next race to accomplish all this. None of us want to do that normally, but if more of us did, we could kickstart cleaning up the online community. The next step is a little more drastic and it's over at ForzaMotorsport.net. If a griefer has given you multiple problems over multiple races, save the replays in succession. Head over to the official Forza website and message one of the community moderators. Be specific in what the replay is named. Give timestamps, what your gamer tag is, what the gamer tag of the offender is, and what lap he got hits in on you. Remember, if you retaliate against the wrecker, it's likely both of you will receive the ban. The same goes for the next process, if you email Turn 10 directly, though with the updates in the coming months for the penalty system, this will either go away or be changed in format soon. Same deal goes though, your gamer tag, the gamer tag of the griefer, timestamps, what lap they hit you on, and of course, the name of the replay that's shared. The email will be in the description down below. Lastly, befriend a member of the Marshall community. Most times they will have a Marshall badge or a Drivatar suit. Marshals can kick griefers from lobby, but keep in mind they cannot ban someone on the spot, so don't expect them to. Many members of the Fast and Clean Racing team are Marshals along with F4H's team as well. Also remember that while a griefer may have you spewing flames and anger, Hulk! Smash! 
the Marshals are Forza players too, and may want to finish up some gameplay or talking in a party before they come help you. Have patience, as the Marshals are enjoying the game as well. Do not engage them. Trolls, they're energy vampires. They feed off any attention they can get. Whether they didn't get enough attention from mommy, or it's just how they validate living out their lives while looking at a screen in their basement, but we'll never know. Or care for that matter. Again, do not message them, talk to them, or retaliate against them. If anything, kill them with silence. I've seen griefers who didn't get the reactions they wanted, so they moved on to other lobbies. As a clean racer or drifter, you automatically have more class than they do. Show them by following these steps. We won't solve the problem overnight, but if enough of us do, it will make the online community a better place for us all. I sincerely hope that this helps you guys out. Like clean racing? Make sure to check out the description below for links to the Cruisers Gaming Facebook page, the Twitch channel, Cruisers Discord, Loft Racing, the FH4 car wish list to vote in a Chevy Beretta and more. I thank you for watching, my friends. And remember, friends, they're the family you get to choose. I'll see you next week, fellow cruisers.